President Trump branded his five-stop tour through Asia tremendously successful before he headed back to Washington on Tuesday. Trump, who delivered repeated warnings to North Korea and insisted the U.S. would not be shortchanged on trade, reveled in the pomp and circumstances he met with world leaders in Japan, South Korea, China, Vietnam and the Philippines. While the trip wasn't a full-on fiasco, it was certainly chock-full of cringe-inducing gaps, Twitter jabs and other travel mishaps. Here's a look back on Trump's comedy of errors in Asia. Trump's odd handshakes have been well documented, and the cross-armed group shake during a summit in the Philippines on Monday was nearly too much for the president. Trump turned to shake Vietnam's Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phuc's hand before he crossed his arms and struggled to close the gap with Filipino President Rodrigo Duterte on his other side. In South Korea, Trump seemed to be struggling with jet lag when he delivered a toast in a monotonous voice. Together, our nations remind the world of the boundless potential of societies that choose freedom over tyranny and who set the free. And we will free, and we will sacrifice, and we will hope, and we will make things beautiful, especially the aspirations of your people. Trump said the president's surprise trip to the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea was thwarted by a heavy fog. Marine One was forced to turn back after just five minutes, and South Korean President Moon Jae-in was left waiting for Trump inside a gourd fist. While White House Press Secretary Sarah Hugh Capby Sanders said Trump was frustrated, an administration official previously said Trump would not be visiting the DMZ, calling it a cliché. And while Trump initially took the diplomatic high road, urging dictator Kim Jong-un to come to the table and make a deal that was quickly shelved with a series of juvenile tweets. Why would Kim Jong-un insult me by calling me old when I would never call him short and fat? Oh well, I try so hard to be his friend, and maybe someday that will happen," Trump tweeted on November. 11. He also addressed the haters and fools out there, writing that a good relationship with Russia is a good thing, not a bad thing. On the way to Vietnam, Sanders announced Trump would not hold an official meeting with Putin, ending the will they or won't they speculation after a Kremlin official confirmed a plan was in place for the two leaders to meet. But the two shook hands and chatted in between photo ops before Trump later announced he took Putin's word that Russia did not interfere in the U.S. elections. While Trump was widely mocked online for dumping his entire box of fish food into a koi pond, it turns out he was actually following Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's lead. In fact, Abe wins for most embarrassing gaffe during the Japanese leg of the tour, after he tumbled backwards into a golf course bunker. According to the aerial footage, Trump didn't appear to notice as Abe climbed out.